Hello everyone, welcome to my new tutorial where I will show you how to create a cool grappling system like the one from Carson. I like to point out that this system comes from uh, Danny and the rope animation comes from uh, Apex. In this tutorial I will just uh, gather everything I learned from uh, others. Also, if you want more tutorials like this one, don't hesitate to like and let me know in the comments. It will also help me for the referencing of my video. We can now start. So first of all, all these scripts will be in the description and you can also find a link to this uh, katana that I found on Sketchfab. So first of all, create a weapon holder that will contain your grapple. I'm going to place it in my camera holder and then add your grapple to it. So your model. Add the grappling gun and grappling rope scripts and a line renderer. You can use the same parameters as I did, so just copy everything you see on the screen. I just want to specify that here you will have to choose one or several layers that will be grapplable. Here define a transform that will represent where the rope will start and here you will be able to add a sound, then your string, then your rope is launched and another sound when your rope reaches its target. And for the grappling rope script, you will just have to do as I did. So the variable LR will represent your line renderer. Here your grappling gun script and take the same values as I did. Uh, you will on the screen you will see the meaning of each of these variables. To try to recreate a curve like mine, I find that it gives the best result. You have already finished most of your work. You just have to add uh, the rotate gun script to your weapon holder. The spring script will work without you needing to place it anywhere. Just add it to, uh, to your project. Don't forget to assign the right layer to what can be grappled. And now, if I run the game and keep my right mouse button pressed, my grappling system will work. If you want to make your grapple appear only when it is used, create a new script, create two variables of type transform that will represent the start and finish position, a speed variable for the speed of this uh, transition, and add these two lines of code. I'm using victor3.lr here, so it's really simple and it works very great. Add this script to your weapon holder, assign this to transform and set your float to 10 or whatever you want. Quick tip for your transforms, just move your grappling gun to where you want it to start and then end. And just copy the end and start position and rotation to your transform. And now everything works great. I'm working on this vehicle to my uh, fun game Scorson but I'm starting to slowly move away from the original game to be able to publish it one day. Don't hesitate to subscribe and like the video if you like the video or more. If you are a little bored on your phone you want to play one of my games, I created two mobile games, the Destroyer and Dice Jumper. You can find the link to their Play Store file in the description. This does not or aren't uh, amazing, amazing games, but I made it in a few days and it's my first mobile games. Thank you all and see you soon for the next video. Bye.